I should have the Switch right now. I'm getting it tomorrow. Amazon. Um, today was a day in my life. And tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow is the day, the beginning. Tomorrow is the beginning. Let's make it a good one. I think mine says that too, and uh, I'm not worried about it. I think it'll get here at like a decent hour. But I have electrolysis tomorrow. So I actually have to get up early and go and that's fine. I have time. Amazon will probably be in the afternoon, so. Uh, my stream's not gonna start in the morning. I mean, if it's 8 p.m., that sucks, but like, I think it's probably not gonna be that late. I'd be surprised, truly. I'd be surprised if it's like, I don't know, I expect to get it at a decent hour. No, I didn't want to go anywhere. I don't want to go to a store. I wanted it to come to me. <laughs> Bring it to me. Bring me. Bring me. Bring it to me. You're afraid Amazon fucked up? I think mine says that too though. I'm not really worried about it. Here. Okay. Wait, what does yours say, Anfoto? Look, okay, I ordered a bunch of stuff, okay? Like, I have Amiibo, and I have Breath of the Wild Master Edition, and I have the Switch, okay? Okay, so check this out. Archer Amiibo, on the way. Guardian Amiibo, preparing for shipment. Bacoblin, on the way. Rider, on the way. Zelda, on the way. Master Edition, on the way. Nintendo Switch, preparing for shipment. That's what my status is. And finally, I would like to say that my Pro Controller, my glorious Pro Controller, arriving Tuesday, not yet shipped. So, I have to wait. No, I have not been watching streams. Why don't I play it? I can't play it yet. I can't play it because... I'm getting it tomorrow. And I want to play it on the Switch, not the Wii U. I could get the midnight download or something, but... Fuck it. I know my wolf link is actually the strongest wolf link. I don't think many people in the entire world even have a 20 heart wolf link. I am one of the few, so show me a little respect. And what if wolf link dies and comes back with three hearts the next time? What if you have to read complete the fucking cave of shadows for wolf link's hearts to replenish? That would be ridiculous. I doubt it works like that, but that would suck. Yeah, I don't want the Wii U version. Actually, I heard a rumor that the Wii U version has faster loading time, surprisingly. And I don't know about like a download Switch version. Consider the fact that like... Uh... I have the cartridge. Okay, cartridge is on the way. So, regarding loading times, I don't know. But hey, listen up though. All the categories, they're arbitrary, and like, if I want to play, if I want to speedrun The Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild, Nintendo Switch, 
in English with Amiibo for the best ending, disallowing save warps, then I'll fucking do that. So don't even worry about it. Find the ramp and soar. I know. I crave it in my soul, and you all know this. And so, let's make it happen. And let's try not to be too pessimistic about my wrists. Let's try to just forget about it and address it if it becomes a problem. Instead of... Instead of, like, actually... Delving down that uh, negative mindset. I just hit that wall every time. I'm not here to argue category theory. My hair is soft, it's very soft. Oh, thank you for reminding me. That timer is bullshit. The timer is now gone because it's not relevant. It's longer than eight hours. More than eight hours. It's more like... I don't know, like 14 hours from now? It's probably like 14 hours from now. That's probably when I'm gonna start. I teach speedrunning category theory at the Institute of Speedrunning. Read my thesis here. I know. Actually, someone mentioned category theory in my chat, and I went and watched a bunch of category theory lectures because I was like, I wonder what they're gonna say. And so I watched a bunch of lectures about category theory. <laughs> oh, I jumped. That's so bad. Is it relevant to speedrunning? I don't think it really was. But it was fun though. And I think that I didn't really, I can't remember too much about it actually. just gonna go on an adventure tomorrow it still feels unreal to me like it still feels like is this actually happening tomorrow like 
is my life a dream? Because I'm not convinced my life is not a dream. I'm glad everyone's excited. I'm excited too, but I'm also... Oh my god, how did that not hit the checkpoint? Did you see that shit? That was insane. Anyway, there is a part of me that's worried about my wrist health, okay? So... I'm trying not to be though. I know, my entire life has been waiting. Like in the last, well not my entire life, the last several years. The last several years of soul searching and seeking. And now, direction has a, has a like. <laughs> you ever get excited and try to say something and you just like say three different things at once? I do that a lot. I just wonder if other people, like, think before they talk, or if they have the same problem as me. Okay, I had a really strong bounce. That bounce was, like, insane. You saw it. But I'm actually shocked it didn't, like... Somehow, it didn't actually give me... The checkpoint. Even though I, like, rocketed through it at high speeds. I don't know why. It was weird. So, I guess this is a good stream to talk about the reception to my video that I made on my old channel with 100,000 subscribers. By the way, since uploading that video, the channel has gone below 100,000 subscribers. I think I got several thousand people to unsubscribe from me. But the response to the video was what I expected. It was like majority thumbs up, but it was sort of like close. It was like kind of evenly split. And um, also the video is not the reason. What do you mean? I saw people complaining about like their sub their yeah see I I just public I made all the videos public which I thought people would appreciate but apparently everyone got pissed off because some of the videos that I made public were never public and so YouTube like published them for the first time which caused like everyone's uh, box to be filled with my videos the ones that I never made public Because they they were treated like brand new uploads basically Even though they're old videos, I don't know. I hate YouTube. YouTube fucking sucks Well, I don't care they can unsub because I'm never posting another video on that channel again. Like, that's the last video. So, go ahead and unsubscribe. Fuck YouTube, though. God damn it. Yeah, no, it seems people just find something to complain about. Like, the quarter second it takes to scroll past the video spam has negatively impacted their life enough for them to fucking come in and, like, vent about it. I don't know, it's just absurd to me. But it's okay, because the response is what I expected, pretty much. Which is, like... Uh, the thing, though, that I want to talk about, I guess, is that people seem to reiterate this point that I'm, like, a completely different person unrecognizably different and they feel like they don't know me at all that I'm a completely new person and in, in some ways it's almost like a compliment 
<laughs> right? Like, do you understand that? But, um, yeah, I don't know. It's sort of like, my past was my past, and like, I lived it. And, I don't know, maybe people are seeing me through a kind of narrow lens when they don't um, feel like there's any of me left or whatever. It's kind of a strange critique that I've noticed time and time again. It's like, I don't care about your gender, but you're a different person and I don't like you anymore. I don't like the new person. The old person's dead. It's like, alright. <laughs> See you later then, I guess. I don't know. It's almost a compliment, almost. But it's also kind of like a little frustrating too. Because, like, I don't know, I lived all that stuff and. I don't know. I just give them my life. I don't know. It's a little weird. Yeah, I think kind of, people kind of put me in a box. People put me in a box and I crawl out of the box. And now I'm not in the box anymore. But inside of that box was a lot of good still. But now that I'm out of the box, they don't see me the same anymore. Even though, in a lot of ways, I want to crawl into the box again, part of it. I want to sink my life into Zelda. I want to work towards speedrunning it, potentially. And I want it to be extremely good and bring back that magic, that chill, comfortable atmosphere that's been somewhat lacking in 2016. 2017 is a, a rebirth, a sort of tapping into the adventure and the magic and growing as a person, and taking you all along that journey with me. Which doesn't even feel that different than some of the stuff from before. But I think that people just like, their sort of narrow scope of who I am, kind of limits their, it's kind of like a limiting way of looking at me. And I feel a little bit disrespected from people's comments regarding all of that. This is very live right now. I'm playing the game right now. I feel like my movement through that area is like suboptimal. It's like, I don't even need to turn sharply here because I feel like keeping the speed is better than cutting the corner a little sharper. It's weird, there's like trade-offs. It's hard to, it's hard to figure out the optimal, uh, the optimal, like, way to go about some of these turns. It's hard. It's hard to comprehend. Why I care so much about strangers' respect. I don't know, maybe that's a deep thing. It's hard to answer that succinctly. It's hard for me to even truly come up with an answer, but I just seem to. I guess it's sort of like I exist in the world and I want the response to me to be something that pleases me. But people are their own person. <laughs> people are individuals who have their own autonomy, and if they don't want to like something, they are free to not like it.
Oh my god, seriously? This run is shit. This run is shit. It was probably like a 430 something. And now it's like a shit. It's a fucking pile of garbage. Do I have cro crooked cartridge? I hear like glitchy audio sometimes. That was definitely a 430 something. Oh, I got a long comment, hold on. This is your first time watching my stream. You'd really appreciate it if I could tell you what I'm all about. How to succinctly describe myself is so difficult. I don't know, it's hard for me to just give you that. The only thing I dis- the only thing you dislike about me at the moment is that my new attitude reeks a bit of arrogance, even if you don't mean it that way. You also added some theatrical behavior, which you didn't have back then. Fair. Very fair. But I don't disagree. I think I have a bit of arrogance. And I'm sorry. <laughs> uh... The reason I got the feedback I did is that you just kind of threw shit at your old audience and told them to deal with it. Fuck you, I'll do what I want. Transition wasn't smooth. Thought it could have been done ease people. Yeah, it could have been way grace- way more graceful. It felt like- It felt like, um, I had waited too long. It felt like I had waited too long to move forward in my life. It took me too long to soul search. Okay, it's true. I had an ego in the past. Okay. It's it's more apparent now. And in part of the way, it's sort of like a signaling. Uh but it's fine. Like it's fine. I'm playing Breath of the Wild tomorrow when I get a Switch. It's being delivered via Amazon. Anyway, I will say, everything could have been way more graceful, and I think there maybe are some regrets about how I had such a lack of grace, but it also felt like, I don't know, I don't need to defend myself too much. It could have been more graceful, and I agree with you. I think that if I would have started this whole process in 2012, I would be long past these struggles by now. And I would have have I would have like developed much more as a person, more elegantly, and everything would have been better by now. But it also would have everything would have been different back then too. So I don't know. The past is the past, and I can't change it. All I can do is move forward. And holy fuck, I need to memorize how that cave works because I keep running into the wall. It's terrible. I can't read the chat while I'm racing. Just letting you know. Wait. When I go airborne, I can look at the chat. Right here, I can look at the chat while I'm airborne. Alright. How long was I hiding inside my old character? <laughs> there are many ways in which I've expressed myself over time. And I think in the past I had kind of like a closed mindset. And I don't think that my expression was so dishonest. It's just, I wish I had been more graceful. And I still have a lot of development to go as like a person. Developing as like a, a person. So, I think Breath of the Wild is actually a beautiful opportunity to grow as a person. Well, the reason that video I uploaded was so long is because there wasn't a single take of me explaining what was going on that felt appropriate to me. It felt like every single take by themselves, it didn't feel like I was giving them me. I couldn't succinctly give you me. I keep using succinctly tonight, I don't know why. I'm sorry. Overuse of words can sometimes be grating to the ears. But basically, all those takes that I did, none of them felt like 
this is succinctly what I want to say. And so by editing together all the takes, it felt like now you're kind of understanding where I'm coming from. So that was my way of looking at it. And so, I don't know. It's hard to be concise when you have like an announcement to make to a ton of people. It's not easy to be con it's not easy for me to like concisely do it. I tried. The entire initial idea behind it was to be concise. And I I felt like I failed at being concise. I felt like any one of those individual clips I would have used would have been inadequate. And eventually I'm like running out of steam trying to record it and it's just like why not just give them me? The singing, I loved the singing though. Hey old YouTube, hey, hey, hey. I haven't uploaded a video in a while, but I want to speedrun potentially the next Zelda. <laughs> I, it was total freestyle. I just came up with it on the spot. It was beautiful. I thought it was beautiful. And so deal with it. Hey, thank you, limping zombie. Hello, gamers. Like, if I keep turning sharp, my speed is lower. If I turn more wide, then I'm not cutting the corner as well, but my speed is higher. And in a lot of circumstances, it's difficult for me to determine which method is superior. I feel like this game would benefit from a lot of very... A lot of tasks, sort of like recording and testing different inputs and then understanding a little bit better what's optimal. And then maybe with that knowledge, it could be applied in more situations. So it's not like I'd have to test every turn in the game, but perhaps just the ones that are more difficult to distinguish. But honestly though, I feel like there's a lot of moments in this, in this single track in which I'm not really sure what the best way to take the turn is. And I just kind of pick a way to do it. So it's actually like, in a lot of ways, this game feels kind of untapped. <laughs> like, there's a lot of like kind of missing knowledge, I think. And like this right here, I got that low jump. Okay, that actually felt faster than normal. That was like a low jump. And like that Z turn there, was that necessary? Should I have like let go of the A button for a short amount of time instead? which probably would have done the turn, but would have done it not as sharply, but I would have lost less speed doing that. And then this right here, like how sharp do I want to take this turn when I when that fence comes? Like, do I want to cut across the grass a lot or do I want to mostly follow the road in order to like preserve speed? It's really hard to determine some of this shit without like in-depth, careful testing, which, you know, maybe someday, maybe someday I'll actually do that, but I'm just, I'm just spending a little time right now, just playing the game. I'm dead. Diesel gaze. 
farm it out to Sockfolder. Hey, Sockfolder. Do my homework for me, please. Implying that something was wrong in the now. You know, things aren't perfect. I feel like I have a lot of development as a person to accomplish. But... I don't know. I've also made a lot of strides. I'm only going to stream for like five more minutes, and then I'm going to sleep. I believe it's incredible. I think the game is incredible. I haven't played it, but I believe you that it's amazing. Breath of the Wild is tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Oh, why did I turn like that? That was so terrible. Oh, this is slow. I'll stream it through Twitch. I'll stream it tomorrow. Oh, that works. Wow. That's the hardest part of the whole speedrun. The second hardest part is the spiral <laughs> at the end of the level. I think it's hard. Oh my god. <laughs> Run over. It was probably already over though, right? Something was wrong. Oh yeah. The nitro box. I went wide on the nitro box, like, crossing the bigger bridge. I like fucked up. I am amazing. Oh yeah, by the way, shoutouts to everyone who like avoided other Breath of the Wild streams just to watch me play it. That's like astounding. Thank you so much. Uh, one more attempt, one more run. One more run, I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gonna finish this run. It doesn't matter how bad it is, I'm gonna finish it. Take guesses on what the time is gonna be. Like 440. The record is 435. And you must guess what the time is. That was wide. Oh my god, I almost hit the wall. I got the jump again. That's so good. I think it's extremely fast.
that was kind of slow. Nice jump. That's that saves time, I think. My cave was so slow that this is not going to be a good run though. God damn it, the cave is the hardest part. Uh, this slap is a little slow. Oh my god, no. Oh my god. This is shit. Ugh. Oh my god, that cost so much time. That was the worst. Okay, I'm done. So, tomorrow. Big day ahead of me tomorrow. To those who believe in me, thank you. To those who... Um want the chill streams to come back i think they're about to to those of you who are saving your zelda first view experience to have it with me that's an honor thank you and i don't know what else to say i just hope to see everyone tomorrow and have a good one. I don't know.
tomorrow, tomorrow. <laughs>